and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another Cook With Me video. Today's video, we are going to be veganizing three TikTok viral recipes. Yay! Guys, I love doing these TikTok videos because it's such a fun way to try out new recipes and also it's a great way for me to show you guys how easy it is to veganize non-vegan dishes. So I'm taking three non-vegan TikTok viral dishes and I'm gonna be veganizing them and I'm so excited, so let's just jump in. So all of the recipes will be in blog posts link down below so definitely check those out those are my veganized versions of all these recipes they'll be linked down below and I'm also gonna link the original recipes down below as well now the first recipe I want to try is the pulled chicken tacos I'm not gonna show you the footage because obviously it's like chicken that we don't want to show we, you know this is a vegan friendly channel this is a vegan channel we don't show no animal products okay so I'm gonna try veganizing the pulled chicken tacos so instead of using chicken we are going to be using tofu yay my favorite vegan protein guys we're using extra from tofu and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to grate the tofu using a cheese grater yes vegans can use cheese graters so i have some extra from tofu we're gonna grate this i'm gonna use the big one what would it the big grater one so we're gonna get some nice little pieces of grated tofu. All right guys, so now that we have the entire block of tofu grated, so I'm going to take some oil. We're gonna heat up some oil on a nonstick pan and the pan is already nice and heated and we are just going to add our grated tofu, be careful. Ah. All right, so once it's cooked for a few minutes and you can see that there isn't too much moisture left, what I'm gonna do is add in the spices. This is very different from the way that the actual chicken tacos were cooked because obviously cooking chicken is very different from cooking tofu, but this is actually a lot quicker. Plus, we don't have to harm any chickens. I switched up the spices a little bit based on what I had. So I have here some Cajun seasoning, some crushed red peppers, some salt, we have some paprika and some Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna dump this right in, and if you guys need the measurements, they will be in my blog post that's linked below. So I'm just going to just dump it in, and we're just gonna mix this really well. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside. I may need to adjust the spices a bit later, but let's see first. On the same pan, we're gonna add in some bell pepper. I have red and green, and I'm also gonna add in some sliced red onion. So they're both sliced thinly. I'm just gonna add it onto the pan. And we're gonna cook it until we've softened it a bit. So maybe two or three minutes. Maybe I'll add in like a pinch of salt. All right guys, so the onions and bell pepper, it's been cooking nicely. We've softened them a bit. And now we're gonna add back in the tofu. Along with some chopped tomatoes. This is a can of chopped or diced tomatoes that I just put in here. Let's start by adding in half a cup. I'm experimenting as we go guys. So we'll start with half a cup. Let's see how this goes. All right, we're adding more. Remember the final measurements will be listed below, so don't you worry, okay? All right, I decided to also add in some smoked paprika. I feel like that would be very nice. <laughs> add in some of that smokiness. But if you don't have smoked paprika, you can just use you know, regular paprika. All right, so onto the pan. We're gonna keep the heat on. We're gonna add in a little vegan butter. This part is optional, but it's gonna make the taco nice and crispy on the outside. You can also just use a little bit of oil. Just a small amount will go a long way, guys. Okay? So we're just gonna let that nice and, let's get that nice and greasy. And then we're gonna add in our tortillas, okay? So we got two tortillas, okay? You can use corn or I'm just using flour. Ooh, I'm just gonna get it nice and greased up. I'm gonna get one nice and greased up. And then we can add some vegan cheese. This part is optional. You can just do it without cheese, but it'll make it like, you know, stick together a little bit better. We're gonna add some of that filling. Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. I'm on team cilantro. I don't know about you guys, but especially on a taco, I gotta have cilantro. And just top with a little bit more vegan cheese. And then we're just gonna close this baby up. Oh, look at that. It's already getting nice and crispy. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. So we can make another one. One more, guys. And I just kind of like to flip it a few times just to make sure it's nice and crisp. Make sure it's not burning on one side, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I have yet to take pictures, but we gotta try one of these while it is still hot. I made a few, and ooh, 
I have to try this while it is still hot. Let me just take a bite here. Mmm, oh. mmm, that is delicious. The vegan cheese taste is a bit strong, and I think it would be great without the vegan cheese as well, but it's very good. Wow, so much flavor. Mm, I don't know what the chicken one tastes like, but this one tastes freaking good. All right guys, before we move on to the next recipe, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Helix Sleep. If you have not heard of Helix Sleep, they make premium mattresses that are customized to fit your specific needs, and they are delivered straight to your door. As you guys should know by now, sleep, and good quality sleep is very, very important to our health and wellness and overall quality of life, okay? It is very important for us to get good sleep and we all have specific requirements and different needs, my friends, okay? We are all different, we're all built differently, we sleep differently, which is why Helix Sleep, they recognize this and they created a sleep quiz where basically it's just gonna ask you some questions, some basic questions, it's very quick. They ask you some questions about the way that you sleep, your preferences, if you like a firm mattress, Mattress or soft mattress, yada yada yada, and then it's going to match you to your specific mattress that is very much designed for you. So I took the sleep quiz and I was matched with the Midnight Lux mattress, and I have been sleeping on it ugh, for the last few months. As you can see here, my old mattress, she's just chilling right over here. Uh huh. She's just been chilling there. I've been sleeping on my Helix Sleep mattress. I have been loving it. I sleep very, very well. It is super comfortable. It is the right amount of firmness for me. Okay, it is not too soft, not too firm, just right, okay? But you don't have to take my word for it, guys, because Helix Sleep, what they do is they actually offer you a 100-day satisfaction guarantee. So once you order a mattress from them, if you are for some reason not satisfied with the mattress, you can get a full refund and they will pick up the mattress for you. So you don't have to worry. They will take care of it if you are for some reason not satisfied with your mattress. So if you guys are interested in getting a new mattress and getting it delivered straight to your door, make sure you check out Helix Sleep. The link is down below. You can take that sleep quiz and that link down below will get you up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows, guys. So make sure you check them out and thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on to the next recipe. All right, you guys, so the next TikTok viral recipe we're gonna be veganizing is the Salmon Rice Bowl by Emily Mariko. This is like a random dish that I feel like she just kinda like whipped up and it just like randomly went viral. That's my guess. Because it's just one of those things that you would just eat, you know, randomly, you know, just throw things together. And somehow this became super viral and super famous and everybody started making it. So today I'm gonna make a vegan version of it and it's gonna be delicious. Let's get started. So first we have a pan, once again, heating up. It's just getting, you know, getting nice and warm. And I also have some tofu. Once again, I've already grated this using the same method as the last recipe. So we have the tofu ready, and then let's just prepare like a nice little marinade. So first we have some kelp powder. This part is optional, but if you really want that kind of fishy taste, it's gonna really bring out that fishy taste. I have this thing of kelp powder that I bought a very long time ago, and I still use it to this day. And I just add it into dishes that I want to add that fishy flavor, and it works really well. So I have some kelp powder, I have some garlic powder, we have a little bit of turmeric, and we also have some beetroot powder. I got this beetroot powder on Amazon. This is just gonna bring out that red color that you get from salmon. This is optional, you don't have to add this, but if you want that kind of visual salmon-y effect, then beetroot powder. You can also just like grind up beets and like put this all into like a blender. If you watched the video where I tried to make vegan salmon and I followed the recipe by Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken, I actually blended some actual beetroot with you know everything else and made the seasoning that way. But I figured that it's a lot easier to just use beetroot powder. So we're just using beetroot powder to bring out that color. And so those are the seasoning. Let's mix together the seasonings together here. So we're just gonna Throw that in. And be careful with that beetroot powder. It's gonna be very, very colorful. And then next we have some miso paste. Now you're supposed to use white miso paste, but I'm gonna try with regular because I don't have white. So, <laughs> preferably white miso paste, but let's see how the regular one turns out. And then we have some better than bouillon seasoning, which is basically like a really concentrated, very salty vegetable seasoning. If you don't have better than bouillon, like this sort of like wet form, you can use some uh, vegetable bouillon cube. So we have that, and then what I'm gonna do is add in and here some rice vinegar or apple cider vinegar. I have rice vinegar, so we're just gonna add that in. I'm gonna thin out this mixture here using just a small whisk. So we're gonna add in the seasonings with the 
with the veggie bouillon and miso. Let's just mix it so we have this like lovely paste. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add in a little water. And then I'm just gonna add in maybe like one or two tablespoons of water. Let's start with two, just to make this a little bit thinner. There we go. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add a bit of salt. Next thing we're gonna use is a nori sheet. This is gonna bring out that lovely fishy flavor, even more so. I'm just gonna crumble it. Okay, now one thing you could do, which I, you know, which I do recommend if you're not lazy like me, is to just blend up the nori sheet and all of the sauce ingredients in like a small blender and that really gets that like fishy delicious flavor. And now let's just pour in this sauce into the tofu and then we're just gonna mix this when I was going vegan. One thing I thought I could never give up was salmon or fish. So having these salmon-y sort of recipes is a game changer. All right, you guys, so now we have this pan. It's heated up very nicely. I'm gonna add in some oil, and then let's add in our vegan salmon flake. All right, let's start mixing it a bit. All right, so the salmon appears to be ready. You will not believe how fishy this tastes. Oh my god. All right, you guys, so now that we've finished our flaky salmon, we are gonna be creating the salmon bowl. Now we have here some lovely cooked rice. I have about a cup of rice, I think per serving would be good, but obviously eat as much as you want. So we have some rice here, and we're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. We don't wanna do too much, but just a little bit. Okay. So we're just gonna mix this once we have that rice. Ooh. Now that we have the rice and the lovely soy sauce, we can add in that vegan salmon. Oof. Now you can just mix it in, but I kind of like the aesthetic of this and then later you can mix it yourself. Now we can add a little bit of vegan mayo on top. Ooh. We can also drizzle on a little bit of sriracha. This is optional, but you know. Okay, now we're also gonna add in some avocado. This is optional, but this is what, you know, this is what the TikTok entails. Now we can add the avocado slices. And then on top, we're gonna add some sesame seeds. And there you have it, a vegan salmon rice bowl. Now, next part is optional, but I like to always add some green onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the top. Oh, look at that nice pop of color. And you gotta eat it with vegan kimchi, okay? So we're gonna add a little side of vegan kimchi. If you need a very delicious and authentic vegan kimchi recipe, I have a video of my mom's recipe over on my channel, so I'll link that down below. Add a little side of that. Mm. Now, obviously, you don't have to make it this pretty, okay? You can just, you know, mix it all together and eat it. But here is the salmon bowl, veganized. Ah, can't wait to try it. All right, you guys, time to try the salmon bowl. Emily Mariko, she eats it with, of course, roasted seaweed, which is, you know, one of my favorite things as well. So we're gonna eat it together with the roasted seaweed. Ooh, this can, like, this has to be delicious. Again, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh my wow, so good. Let me try without the roasted seaweed and just the bowl. You guys, it's so good. You will die. If you miss fish, if you miss salmon, if you miss seafood, oh my God, you will not know. This is so good. That's mm. next level. Next level. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, last but not least, we're gonna be making a vegan version of tuna cato sandwich. This seems to be very trendy right now, and obviously it's not vegan, and today we're gonna veganize it. It seems relatively simple. It's basically a tuna salad, so we're gonna make a vegan tuna salad with a pesto and serve with avocado in a little sandwich thing. So first, let's make our pesto. Now I have an oil-free kind of creamy pesto recipe on my blog, which I'll link down below, but I feel like this one is a little bit different. I want that kind of like standard pesto, okay? So we're gonna make a pesto, but I I could not find pine nuts anywhere in my house. I thought I had pine nuts, but I guess I used it all last time I made pesto. So I don't have pine nuts, but instead of pine nuts, we're gonna use sunflower seeds. So we're gonna make a really simple vegan pesto with sunflower seeds. So first we're gonna need a food processor. So I'm just gonna open it up, okay? And then we're gonna need basil. So we have here lots of basil. We're gonna just throw that in here. You don't wanna waste a leaf, okay? So we're gonna add basil. Now if you can find just a vegan pesto somewhere where you live, you can just use a store-bought pesto if you don't wanna be bothered with this. But, I mean, who doesn't love a pesto, you know? And then we're gonna add some lemon juice and sunflower seeds. And then we're also gonna add some salt. Ooh, garlic, how could I forget? Garlic, very important. 
add some garlic. Mine's already minced, but you can just use cloves of garlic. And then we're gonna blend it, and as we're blending, we're gonna slowly pour in our olive oil, okay? And slowly pour in our olive oil. Because we don't wanna add too, too much, we just wanna make sure we're forming like a nice sauce. So I'm just gonna pack it down a little bit more. Let's go again. Smells so good. Yeah, so the nooch is actually quite optional because it actually tastes really good without nooch. By nooch, I mean nutritional yeast for those of you new vegans out there. But I feel like with pesto, you gotta you gotta have some something cheesy. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a little more olive oil. The final recipe will be on my blog. So check that out. But right now I am winging it. Mmm, smells so good. Now we're gonna make a chickpea salad. This is going to be a chickpea tuna salad. Yes, my friends. So we have here some uh, celery and some red onion. Here we go. So we're just gonna dice it quickly. Just chop it. It's that quick. Now we can add into the food processor the chickpeas. Okay, we have some chickpeas. This is a can. It was drained and rinsed thoroughly. We're gonna add a can of chickpeas. We added some chickpeas and now I also wanna add, what did I tell you guys, my magic ingredient? Kelp powder. Again, this is optional, you don't have to add this, but if you really like that fishy flavor, this is, you know, it's recommended. It's not a must, but it's recommended. If you don't wanna use kelp powder, what is this? A nori, nori sheet. I'm gonna add this in too. I love a fishy taste. Okay, I do. So you can use kelp powder and or a nori sheet. And we're also gonna add some uh, black pepper, some salt, and now we can blend this up. <laughs> Now, I like to keep it a little chunky. Now, the recipes I've seen, they make like a tuna mousse, which kind of looks gross. I mean, that's just hummus, okay? Uh, so we're just gonna, I still want it in chunks, but if you want, you can blend it up so that it's all, I don't know, moussey or whatever. Now, in here, let's add in some vegan mayo, and then we have some Dijon, which I love. Let's give this a mix. Mm. Oh my God, it's a tuna salad. Seriously, I'm telling you. Tastes like tuna. I'm not a little more salt. All right, now let's put together the sandwich. The tuna cato sandwich, but vegan. Yay! Okay, you guys, we're almost done. The tuna cato sandwich. Next thing we need are some tomato slices. So I'm just going to slice up some tomatoes. And then we have the avocado, of course, because it's a tuna cato sandwich. You can't make a tuna cato sandwich without the avocado. And now we're just going to put our pesto. And we're just gonna just spread it, okay? Spread it across. And then uh, I guess I guess I'll top with the chickpea salad, the vegan tuna salad. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in some kind of order, but I'm not going to because who cares? And then avocado. I think I'm doing this right. Hopefully there's no science behind the order of these things. Um, okay. And then we just want to top with salt and pepper. Top. Ooh. And then I guess we just close this baby up. Oh my lord! All right, I'm gonna use this like, what is this called? See, this is how you know I don't really know anything about cooking. Cast iron pan. Let's just plop it on. Now, if you have a panini press, that would be better, but I don't. Um, or you could just do this on a regular pan. It doesn't really matter. All right, now we have this. Let's cut it in half. Cut it up. Ooh, la, la. Oh my gosh, can't wait to eat it. Look at it. Okay, I'm just gonna try it because I'm really curious as to what this tastes like. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. It's a chickpea avocado sandwich with some pesto. Of course it's gonna be delicious. Mm-hmm. I can't stop. So good. So so good. Alright you guys, so that is it. Those were my veganized TikTok viral recipes. Oh my gosh, I was so happy with how every single one of these turned out. Everything was so delicious, and as I mentioned earlier, all of the recipes that I made today will be in blog post link down below. So make sure you check those out, and make sure you give me a five-star review on all the recipes. And um, I really hope you guys try these, because every single one of these were so good. And this again shows how easy it is to veganize recipes. Like, it's so simple and delicious, and it still retains all that delicious taste. My favorite thing, I think, was it has to be the salmon bowl. It is so good. I'm gonna be making this over and over again for sure. I think what I'll do is I'll make the salmon in like a big batch and then just eat it, you know, throughout the week. 
Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. And then my second favorite was probably, oh, I can't decide, but I think it was the tuna cotto. Um, although the tacos were delicious as well. Everything was so good. So I highly recommend trying every single one of these. Oh, so delicious. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And once again, do not forget to check out Helix Sleep if you are looking for a mattress. There's a link down below and you can get up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. So thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.